am Sarah Sells for FedEd TV, and we are here at the U.S. Canada Border Conference. And I'm standing here with a Damien from Campbell and Harris. Can you tell me a little bit of an overview of your company? Yes, we are uh, the world's largest and leading portable contraband detection equipment company. Uh, we manufacture a large suite of equipment that allows any border officer to do his job very quickly by searching and inspecting using our tools. Fantastic. Can you kind of give me an overview of the products you have here at the conference? Sure. Well, let me start by saying that, you know, we've been around for a number of years. We've been doing this since the mid-1980s, and we started with the Buster Contraband Detector. And what it does is provide um, a user with the ability to scan an area and understand if there's something hidden behind that space. So imagine a car door or a spare tire. Those are spaces where smugglers like to hide things. And, of course, we don't have x-ray vision, so there's no way to know. But the Buster will give you the ability to read through that surface and identify if there's something on the other side. So that's the primary piece of equipment that we have that's a part of our broader kit, the CT30 contraband detection kit, which is on display here today. Um, the second component is the fiber scope. And the fiber scope's function is to allow you to access areas that you couldn't normally reach, like a gas tank, another smuggler's favorite location. Uh, you can insert the six millimeter uh, cable into the fuel tank. It articulates in both directions so you can see very easily no matter which direction you want. It has a bright LED light on the end of it so you can actually see into a hidden space by just looking through the eyepiece here and seeing on the other end. So it's a really wonderful tool to access those areas that you can't really physically access um, and but in so doing find where the smugglers are hiding all their goods. Uh, and then there's a series of other pieces of equipment. There's a camera that attaches to the fiber scope that allows you to capture a digital still or video image. Uh, there's also a laser range finder. And what it does is it will measure the distance between here and whatever uh, the laser points to. Uh, the real benefit is that smugglers often will build a false wall in a container or a large truck. And it's difficult to be able to tell the difference in the distance by looking at it from the inside. So you measure the outside distance, then you measure the inside distance, and where there's a difference, you have a clear indication that there's something being smuggled. And this tool does it in a matter of seconds, saving the police a lot of time and energy climbing on top of boxes or pulling those boxes and containers out of the truck. Um, just a couple other smaller pieces of tools uh, that are very useful. Inspection probes sharp tip ends, serrated edges. These are used to insert into cargo containers oftentimes to see if what's on top of the container is also on the bottom. So it's coffee being uh, transported on the top. There's oftentimes cocaine or marijuana below and this can be inserted into the container uh, and then when you uh, pull it back out you have a portion of that captured inside of the sample ports here. And these come in a variety of sizes, large, medium, and uh, small. So this is our pocket pencil probe. It's a pencil version that does the exact same thing. Uh, and then the other two pieces are the final components would be the personal toolkit. It has uh, these same probes, just a smaller version that you can put on your hip. Uh, there's also uh, a multifunction tool and a bright LED light that's all right on your person so you don't have to go back to the shop and gather the larger tools. You can do this while you're on the road or uh, further away from uh, the main, the main uh, headquarters of your port of entry. Uh, and then lastly there's an inspection mirror which by itself may not seem novel but the novelty is that it can be extended to a variety of lengths it has a bright LED light that you can actually use to, uh, to see in darkness. And also, it fits inside of the portable kit here. And the portability is really what separates this from many other options because you might be able to buy, and you can, in fact, buy any of these from us directly, but then you don't have them all in one place. So if you buy them individually, you don't have the ability to port them easily. Here, you have a wonderful uh, a case Pelican case, each location is designed specifically for the pieces of equipment, therefore there's no damage, they're safe, they can be transported anywhere you want. There's wheels, there's handles, uh, it's water resistant, so it really makes life a lot easier for the officers who have to do their job every day. And frankly, they've got enough to worry about besides worrying about where's my piece of equipment and I wish I had another component. All the components any officer needs are, are right here. And we've proven that because we've been doing this for you know almost 30 years. Fantastic. What do you plan on taking out of this conference? Well, you know, I'm really hoping to understand a bit more about this whole Beyond the Border initiative. Um, the United States market has been really, really powerful for us over the years. Uh, we have a long-standing relationship with the Customs and Border Protection agencies there uh, in the U.S., DHS, uh, and even State Department. 
we're looking to expand and grow and develop a stronger relationship with Canada. We've had some success there, but we want to have a stronger relationship. And by understanding a bit more about how they plan to execute this Beyond the Border initiative, we think there's a space for us to help both sides do what they're trying to do uh, faster, better, and easier. Fantastic. If they're not able to get out to your um, booth, where can they find information about you all? They can always find us on the web at www.cseco.com, or you can just simply Google Buster K910B, which is this piece of equipment, uh, and that will bring you right to our website. Uh, we're also available on Twitter at uh, CSECO Buster. Uh, so there's a variety of means, social media that you can find us. We have a Facebook page, all of the above. So we'd love for you to reach out and uh, come and learn about us. We'd be happy to come out and even do a demonstration if that's of uh, value to any particular law enforcement agency. And we've been speaking with Damien of Campbell Harris Security Equipment Company, and we are at the U.S.-Canada Border Conference. And I'm Sarah Sells with FedEd TV.